Dr. Raj is a sexologist from Trinidad. You know, sex is not the most important thing in a relationship. As a matter of fact, for some individuals, sex is not important at all. But for those who are aware of themselves and their needs, sex is very important. Some people get married simply because they think that when they get married, sex becomes easy but their partner may not be thinking the very same way. There are some individuals who have a high sex drive and others who don't, and that's compatibility or incompatibility in your relationship. But for those who need sex as a tool to bring forth their talent, it's very important to that individual. So individuals who are in the entertainment fraternity, and other persons who need that sexual energy to express themselves in whatever form or fashion will tell you that sex is an important factor in their lives. So you may be married to someone who is dull, and you notice I'm not calling any gender here, is not interested in sexual activities and find no excitement in the things that you may want to do, or the things that are considered to be normal sexually. What do you do? You have a number of choices. You can either suffer through your marriage. You can decide that, hey, I'm going to divert my attention and my energies to other things. Or you can find someone who can satisfy your wants and your needs. So although there are morality issues, quotation from different religious books and whatnot about infidelity, you as an individual have to make that choice because the person who write, wrote those books, who made those laws and rules, they're not living within you. They don't know what you're feeling and how you need that satisfaction. Even if you're not someone who is in, create, who is in the creative mode and you have a high sexual drive, you'll understand that there's a need for that satisfaction or else you are a person who is not going to be fulfilled and not going to be happy. So it's important for you to focus on these energies that are going to make you whole, the sexual energy. So the importance of sex for individuals like these is something that needs to be examined. We as sexologists know that. We know that there's a need for sexual, sexual fulfillment in everyone. The level is different. If it's a low level, well then there's really no big deal or no great need. But if it's high or very high, as in some cases, then you know that that person is going to seek out an avenue to get that fulfillment. So when a person has suppressed that part of them, they themselves become lethargic, weak, unmotivated. They are, don't feel the feelings that they should have and they themselves start dying slowly from inside. But the person who embraces that sexual energy within themselves and understands this is something that is going to take me to higher heights. You seek those things out. But sometimes we want to not understand those persons. We may want to condemn those individuals. And we want to say disparaging thing about them. Not understanding the role and function of sex and the betterment of that individual. So, how do we examine these things? Where do we draw the line with our partners, with our loved ones, with a person who needs that high sexual energy to engage in different things in a different way, out of the norm? The things that are considered to be a fetish or kink or a desire or a want or a fantasy. How do we Rationalize that.
within ourselves. It's not an easy task, but we have to start understanding that each individual is different and he or she is going to behave in a particular way. So if you are unable to reach those heights based on what you're doing presently with your partner, your spouse, whoever it may be, a paid service, then you have to find another avenue. So when you see persons behaving in a particular way, try to understand the background of that behavior. Try to understand where he or she is coming from. Try to understand what drives that person. A woman who has a very high sex drive, you put a, a word to them called a nympho nymphomaniac. A man who has a high sex drive, we call him a stud. But is this a stud and nymphomaniac or is there a need to satisfy this strong sexual urge within the individual. And is he or she behaving in that particular way because there is a physical need for it? And that physical need surpasses the spiritual and other needs that a person may have. So many a times you would see individuals who are famous, and you'll hear things about them. It may not be true, but because individuals understand that these people may engage in things that are not of the norm, we put labels on them and we start to criticize them or we'll want to say things about them. In my close to 30 years of practice with this particular issue, I can tell you there are many individuals that I've met, some famous, some not famous, some just up and coming, some of them are married, unmarried, who come to me and express these things and try to find a way to get the satisfaction that they need. I don't judge them, I can't. I have to have an understanding of their needs, their wants, their desires, and what it is that they have to do to fulfill that in order for them to rise above the others. The artists out there who are listening to me would know what I'm talking about. It's not as raw as some people would like it to be, but it's, this is nothing to be raw about. This is something to be rational about. This is something to educate and edify the others out there. So all the individuals who are understanding of this, who sees this for what it is, will have a better understanding of themselves and what they need to do. So do not condemn because your feet is not in their shoes. You are not like them. You are not, you may not have the drive that some of these individuals have. So you just let them be. Because from a sex, sexology point of view and a sex therapist point of view, it's quite normal. Do not think it's abnormal and do not think that these individuals are doing something wrong. Because once you don't feel guilty about what you're doing and you understand what it's doing for you, there's nothing wrong with it. So, understand these things. We'll talk again.